Oh man, the time has arrived where we have to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of Raleigh, North Carolina to identify if this is a place for you. What's going on family? It's Ronnie Polonese here. These are going to be the pros and cons and of course they're coming from my perspective. So if you feel any differently of anything that I mentioned, please let's hear it in the comments below. And also don't forget to subscribe. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to be personally sharing my biggest pro and con of being in Raleigh, North Carolina. So you don't want to miss that, especially if it can be the deciding factor of whether you move to Raleigh, North Carolina or not. Let's kick things off by talking about one of the cons that's impacting everybody all over the world, and it's getting pricey. I mean, when I say that, not only am I talking about the goods and the prices of things that are in the grocery store, I'm specifically talking about real estate here. Now, this has been impacting everybody across the entire nation on multiple different facets, but here entirely, man, when you have people relocating here with deep pockets, all they're doing is pumping up those prices on a consistent basis and you know what really doesn't help is the fact that the average job you know the person that is looking that maybe doesn't have the expertise the degrees or any the certifications or anything of that nature is stuck with minimum wage being seven dollars and 25 cents i mean there is no way in heck anybody's going to be able to survive especially probably purchase a home on that aspect so that right there is making it really difficult for individuals looking to move to that raleigh area to make that decision man can i really go over there other than those individuals within those stem majors so you know science tech engineering mathematics um, the medical field you know those individuals are well covered and that has been driving a lot of jobs are actually relocating to the north carolina area specifically around stem to target those so of course those prices are rising but that now is requiring a lot of people who want to move to the raleigh area to look on the outskirts to really look on those areas that are outside that interstate 540 going as far as Wendell, Zebulon, Fuquay, Holly Springs to see if those are areas that could be fulfilling to them to see if they can still maybe move to that Raleigh area. It may not be directly in Raleigh, North Carolina, but it may be at least near it. Let's talk about one of the biggest reasons why I moved from Connecticut to North Carolina. And this may be a pro or con to you, I don't know. To me, I found it as a huge pro and that's the weather. Here in North Carolina, you still do have access to all four seasons. Yes, you heard it right four seasons and honestly the best season in my personal opinion is going to be the fall it's not too hot and it's not too cold you get the best of both worlds right there right? it's just where I at least love it and I maybe you guys will as well however if you're coming from somewhere where it's sunny and you guys don't experience any sort of snow or anything of that nature brace yourself because yes it does snow here it doesn't happen all the time no but when it does happen everything and I mean everything gets shut down so you don't have to worry about having to travel out on the snow unless if you are already out there and you get stuck in it and then we have the spring like i mean i'm a big lover of the spring because that's just transitioning from the cold and getting into that warmer weather season and i love the warm weather but man the pollen here is something insane so if you do have allergies brace yourself for this now all of these can be pros and cons it all depends on what your lifestyle is for you however i do have to say so sometimes you'll have like this recently just happened it was literally maybe all week warm out i'm talking 60 70s nice beautiful and then next week or that following day it, we see snow flurry so you'll have that inconsistency from the spring going into the summer but let's talk about the summer this is probably one of the places I don't think anyone really understands how humid it really gets here. I mean, I understand you guys that are in Arizona and California or Vegas or any of those individuals, you guys get a really high temperature, but you guys don't have the humidity like we have it here in North Carolina. You guys more or less have that dry heat. So if you are moving to the North Carolina area, brace yourself, prepare yourself for hot summers. I was warned, I had no idea what they were talking about. When I experienced it, I said, oh, 
it's game on guys just know it's nothing to play with take it as serious as possible if you're a person that sweats a lot best believe you're gonna sweat a ton now it's all going to be depending on your lifestyle which you're gonna deem as pro or recon so really take a look and hear out what i said there so that you can see where you stand on it wait wait before i continue don't forget, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the like and subscribe so you don't miss another one of these videos that I do. Now, although the South may be losing that Southern feel, that Southern hospitality that a lot of people hear of or even expect, I'm sorry to tell you, I'm going to break it down to you. It's, it's slowly but surely moving away. But you do still have great individuals here who are welcoming. They'll say hi to you whether you're walking your dog, running, or you know just doing whatever it is that you're doing. So it's not completely gone, but just best believe. I think in the near, near future, it's going to be gone because a lot of people are moving here. And a lot of people are moving from many different states, many different cities, to the point where they're bringing that culture here. So you may look at it as a pro, you may look at it as a con, because maybe you get to meet new individuals now because no one I mean there is a very small select few of individuals that are born and raised in Raleigh that are still here but there's a large majority of those individuals that are moving here and relocating so this could probably give you the potential of being able to connect and be able to meet with other individuals however if you're really looking for that southern feel I'm sorry while we're on the topic of meeting people and having an outgoing personality to go ahead and connect with other individuals, a lot of people will say, I don't know if I agree with this wholeheartedly. I could understand it, but uh, it leaves me on the edge sometimes when I have this conversation. A lot of people say it's boring in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, I'm going to share with you why some individuals say that it's quite boring here. It's because there's no theme parks here. They say there's a lack of entertainment. Although, they do have music concerts. Dreamville is something that happens every year here now. They do have sporting events. It's much bigger of a college town sporting events kind of thing. And recently, I've even been seeing more comedians come into town and having their acts. So although some people are saying it's boring, I personally believe it's getting better. If you want it to be where it's right here, right now, you're probably going to look at this as a huge con. You know what? It's boring. There, lack of entertainment. Get out of here. I'm out of there. I'm not even going to consider it. However, if you're someone that's like, hey, you can deal with what's already here and you're more than happy to see what it progresses to, then that could be something that you look at as a pro. Because to be honest with you, all there really is here, yes, you have your bars, yes, you have your clubs, yes, you have your foodie places, but besides that, you know, how often can you do those sort of things? That's why I think a lot of individuals say, you know, it's quite boring, there's not that much to do. But do you want to hear about one of the biggest pros, even despite North Carolina or Raleigh may be boring? It's the fact that you're really close to a lot of major cities. I mean, Atlanta. Tennessee, you have Charlotte about two hours and a half away, you have Myrtle Beach, Virginia, Washington DC, like these are all cities and states that are relatively nearby you. So even if things are boring for you now or boring for you when you get here, or maybe you're hearing this and you're like, ah, I don't know if I should move there. You can have the ability, you can take day trips to those different cities and states because they're all still relatively close. Now, if you like driving, there's, there's your trip right there's your weekend getaway if you don't like it go ahead and get on the plane but having access to those cities nearby is only gonna help your travel time it's only gonna enable you to go to different areas and go get a feel of what's going on over there now these next topics right now are literally the lifeline to deciding whether you're gonna move to North Carolina and create new experiences or not let's talk about the snakes I don't know why, I don't know what birdie has said this and where you guys are hearing this information, where you're getting it from, but man, have I gotten so many reach outs of individuals inquiring about, hey, are there a lot of snakes there? What's going on there? Like, and I don't, I honestly don't personally get it. Again, I'm an advocate and I'm a person that loves being outdoors, walking on trails, going on hikes. And I could honestly say with my years of being here, and again, I am not from here. Right, so it's, I would say within five years of me being here, I've literally only seen about two of the three of them. One of them being outside of my home. Other than that, I have all seen them on the trail. And 
None of them really freak me out. Hey, I go about my business. I mind my, I mind my own business, honestly, <laughs> and I go about my day. However, it doesn't happen that often. It's not like snakes on the planes or anything of that nature that you guys have to be wary of. So now that we got that out the way, that could be a pro, that could be a con, depending on whether you're a pet lover, an insect lover or not. <laughs> but let's talk about the downtown living area, which you may or may not like. Well, one thing I would definitely say with the downtown area, it's much faster paced than everything else around it. It's not going to really give you that suburban feel. I, don't, I was hoping you don't expect that. It is going to be walkable, so you can take advantage of that. Not only that, but you will have the buses that do travel in and out of there very frequently. So you can definitely take advantage of that. However, not a lot of people want to be down there because it may be too loud for you, your family, your friends, whoever it is that's going to be moving in with you. Because you got to expect, I mean, there's a ton of bars, parks, clubs, restaurants, all those things that you can take advantage of down there. And that's where everyone really goes down there to go ahead and travel and travel to or experience. Not specifically Glenwood. Glenwood Ave is a completely different area. And that's another place that can kind of get, you know, quite chaotic for you. But if you're looking in that downtown area specifically, around that Fayetteville Street area, then you'll know that is the true downtown that I am referencing at this moment. Now, before I share my personal biggest pros and cons, I figured this might be the right time to share a story about how I moved to Raleigh in 2018. And I will say, boy oh boy, did I spend a lot of time on Google trying to find new things to do. Thankfully, it was before 2020 when everything just shut down. So I was able to experience a lot and explore a lot more but one thing I really wish I came across a little bit sooner is this website called Visit Raleigh because they provide a ton of information about the different cities, suburbs that's all around Raleigh, North Carolina and Raleigh in itself. And they also have a guide that I will actually put in the description below. If you want to download that, if you're visiting, that will be a great tool that you can go ahead and access and see what could you do to take advantage of your time here while you're visiting or better yet, while you're actually moving to North Carolina. Now let's talk about it. The biggest pro and con that I'm personally looking at on a consistent basis. And I'll start with the cons first, just because I think you guys all like to hear what I hate the most, but <laughs> I will say it's getting overcrowded. It's not quite there yet, but I can truly indeed see the difference between before 2020 and now. I mean, if you were here before 2020, you're probably tired of this. You're probably sick of it. You're probably moved to another state or moved out of the Raleigh area, but I will say it's picking up and it's kind of getting there. So. Be wary of that. It's nothing dramatic. It's nothing to freak you out. However, what gives this away is, yes, the traffic has kind of gotten a little bit worse. And I'm a guy with little patience, so this doesn't really help me. But of course, traffic that's requiring more people, more cars, and it's just, it's the, it's happening. Like That's all I'm going to say. It's happening. And the roads aren't exactly where they should be to accommodate everyone. And then let's consider the fact that the public transportation I mean man does that need to be improved a little bit more and a little bit faster to alleviate some of that pain that a lot of individuals may be experiencing on the highway traveling home or to work now when I say public transportation I am specifically talking about buses because <laughs> quite frankly that's all that's really here and if you go further and further away from Raleigh that downtown area the less and less stops there are. You know, one thing that I learned really quickly is Raleigh is not designed like New York or any metro, really big major metro city. So if that's what you're thinking, please take it out and just throw it out there because it's not that. And now the best pro of all time, my personal favorite, how comfortable this place is. Pretty clean and you have nice scenery. You know, I've traveled a few places and I've seen what I've needed to see in some places and I will say this is one of those areas granted I'm already in real estate so this is kind of biased I personally think this is one of the great places to begin building wealth and if you're looking for some sort of change of scenery because there's a lot going on now and I can only imagine what will happen in the future you know we have a ton of outdoor things a ton of nature things that you can do so if you're like myself, you love to go outdoors, you love on hikes, you love challenging yourself to see where is it that your body, where you can take your body to, this might be the place for you. But not, maybe you're not the type of person to challenge yourself. Better yet, let's go the other direction to the beach. 
to put your foot in the sand, to go listen to the ocean, to do something of that nature. Now, like I said, man, Raleigh's location is prime because you have literally two of both worlds within a couple of hours of each other. And you don't have to be forced to stay inside your home 75% of the year, like those individuals do that are living up north because it's cold out there man now just as much as i enjoy making these videos with you guys i am a licensed realtor here so i would love nothing more but the opportunity to help you relocate here to the raleigh north carolina area so you see that number that's popping up right there make sure to give me a call shoot me a text email day or night heck maybe even on the weekends always remember one thing i got your back in this market